We are here at an exclusive SiliconANGLE Wikibon The Cube event. This is OpenStack in the Enterprise, the OpenStack Enterprise Forum, live in Silicon Valley. Um, this is uh, hosted by SolidFire, HP Cloud, Nebula, OpenStack Foundation, The Cube. This is a great event, and looking at the data online, um, it's just significantly a packed house. One, physically there's a huge event packed, and every chair is taken. Two, online we had over 2.2 million timeline reach impressions on Twitter, on our crowd chat. Dave, uh, pretty impressive turnout, one, physically at, here at the event, and two, online on Twitter and on crowd chat. Uh, is pretty amazing, so we have a live crowd chat right now. Yeah, we can, we're close to uh, 300 people here, John, and we just heard uh, Lydia Leong set up the, the day with a number of panels. We're getting a little feedback here. <laughs> so, the speakers. What we'd like to do uh, this afternoon, we're basically going to bring over some of the panelists that we heard from Lydia. We're going to go a little deeper uh, than perhaps we were able to in the panel. But what we heard was some of the challenges of deploying OpenStack, some of the the, the risks, some of the rewards, uh, and a lot of a lot of discussion about you know Open, the new Open. Well, I think one of the things that's obviously clear from, from my data, Dave, is that the OpenStack enterprise conversation is significant. On the crowd chat, we had a lot of conversations. The engagement was off the charts, both on Twitter and on crowd chat and here at the event. And the bottom line is people want to know what the hell's going on with OpenStack. And I think ultimately, you know, obviously SolidFires has their agenda here. They're sponsoring this event. They're holding the event. So obviously they're kind of infiltrating with their Kool-Aid uh, here within, within uh, OpenStack. But you got HP here uh, and others. And the OpenStack community is pretty clear. It's an early market, there's some real traction, but there's some real questions about the deployment. There's some real question marks around the proof uh, where the rubber meets the road, proof in, in, in the pudding as they say. There's real questions about how far are we on the automation scale? Where does public cloud fit in? What about private cloud? What's this new hybrid cloud? Dave, there's a ton of questions. We are going to get at the answers to these and to me, it's pretty clear. A lot of manual configurations. Uh, we were talking about the Mirantis success. They've had great success on the consulting professional services model. Jeff Frick brought up the professional services uh, question on CrowdChat. But in general, the theme is most people are really bullish on OpenStack. But they want to see automation. They want to see scale. And that is really, to me, the biggest demand point. The tooling's being built out. There's huge momentum. This is not just hype, although there's a lot of buzzwords being kicked around. Real deal, real community. So well, I, John, think, I think it's really exciting. And we had a, we were having a crowd chat during these sessions, and there was a lot of really interesting discussions. Uh, there was a discussion around the, the, the public cloudness and the fit with public cloud for OpenStack. Uh, Randy Bias came in and said there is no place for OpenStack with the public cloud. I'm sure many of the panelists are going to disagree with that. We want to talk about that. Lydia Leong talked about two separate vectors, really, for, for private cloud. Uh, one is essentially extending existing virtualization, VMware and Microsoft virtualization, for example, into automation, into self-service, and the other being essentially DevOps. I, and I want to personally thank the folks out there who are watching uh, the event, uh, coming to siliconangle.tv, and I want to personally extend uh, a thank you to the folks who went on CrowdChat, because this is a beta preview. We are not opening it up to the public yet. We are offering it for free to all the people, the part of the beta preview, if you want to get at the crowd chat, we're out testing it, the, the back end's very solid. However, we want to get the, get the bugs out of the UX and get more mobile usage. Uh, but thank you for participating. That transcript is now public. Uh, you can retweet it. It's gonna, we're going to leave it open forever, uh, uh, for a long time. So uh, the hashtag is OE Forum. That's the hashtag, go to crowdchat.net slash OE Forum. And ask us questions and be part of the thought leadership. This market has, has emerging, a lot more work to be done on the code side, on the business side, across the board. So Dave, we're personally excited uh, to be part of the ecosystem in, in OpenStack. Uh, we're going to be OpenStack Summit coming up in Atlanta. We did the great debate in San Francisco. So just real quick, we're going to hear today from uh, uh, OpenStack Foundation. We got uh, PayPal coming on, uh, folks from eBay. Uh, we got Chris Kemp, who's a, uh, for, of Nebula, one of the founders of OpenStack. Uh, and and uh, we're going to hear from HP. Also, we'll get the services angle. We're going to hear from Dave Wright as well, who's the CEO of SolidFire, the, the anchor host of this event. So, 
Looking forward okay. to that, John. We'll be right back with our next guest. We're going to go right down the line. Everyone wants to get to the beer and wine, the food. Bang, bang. Uh, we're in the evening. Thanks for watching, and we'll be right back with our next guest. Stay with us here. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back after this real, real short break.